Before long, we had 30,000 names on that wall within two months. And do you know what that represented? That wasn't a bunch of names. Every person's name on that wall meant something to somebody in that room. It was a brother, a mother, a relative, a business associate, a neighbor who was driving you crazy. Whoever, a lost son or daughter. And the point of that was to, to visualize the vision that do we need room for 20,000 people? I guess we do. And the other part of it was that I didn't even catch that that became a way to help everybody there join in prayer for one another and the people they had on their heart. Churches are, like anything, are a reflection of leadership one way or another. And if that church is going to have a pray, care, share, or an outreach culture, it's because the pastor gets it. And I'll tell you, when I've gone to different cities and talked about all of this, uh, it started in the valley, the desert, uh, we said, this will never happen unless the senior guy who's in the plant, on the platform, the most visible people, are committed to it and living. That's where it starts. Prayer Care Shepherd was just a perfect uh, uh, vehicle for us to really tie into and be a part of. Uh, in this time, we've seen lots of people coming to the Lord. We've had, uh, we have thousands of names on our walls. We have a church of 2,000. Uh, and so this is giving just another tool, like you were talking earlier this morning. It gives our congregation tools to hold in their hand, a, a bookmark. They can put it in their Bible and it reminds them. The prayer board, the prayer wall. It, it, it's, it's been physical ways by which we're trying to do the things we've always been telling our people to do. But now it gives them uh, something that they can see, they can touch. It also is amazing, I think, Larry, to know that our people are excited that they're working with other brothers and sisters in Christ in the city. That, that's brought the level up so much more. The fact that this isn't just the vineyard, it isn't just me talking to them about this, but that we're doing this, you know, with, with uh, 30 of the congregations in the city. That alone, I think, has helped some people realize this, this is serious stuff. God must be doing this. We've been caring, we've been praying and caring for, uh, for the whole city, and uh, we started with uh, prostitutes, with drug addicts, with prisoners, and, and orphans, the people who are rejected. And by, by praying and caring for them, we just started to see a mighty revival in the city. It is happening. It is happening. And then we later we're going to for the lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, brother. Do you see pray, care, share happening for the people who sit in your church? No, it is not going to be happening. It's going to happen like now. <laughs> <laughs> this is so important. I mean, my heart is boiling. Uh, I'm having a meeting, big meeting on October 1st with my church. And we're going to call October the month of harvest. I wish you were more excited about it. I'm very excited. I'm, I'm just a little nervous. I don't want to look, you know, like crazy. I'm a lot more excited than this typically. <laughs> you are passionate about your people. I am absolutely though. passionate. I know they're going to go grab them and bring them with love. You know, and as a matter of fact, you, you know that wall that you, said, you talk about? I'm not going to do it outside of church. I'm going to do it inside of the sanctuary. Why not? Oh, why not? What's wrong with that? I don't know anything wrong with that. Do it. <laughs> So we're going to go to the inside and the walls on the inside of the sanctuary. That we're going to put all those names up. And then Probably. you know what? When people meet Christ, they'll see their names there. They, you put a, a, a something on there, a yes. little cross or something to say, we're seeing people meet Christ. Absolutely. That's a great idea. And you know what? You talk to them in church. Yes. So, and I want to put my, name, my, my brother's name, Sergio, and I want to procure some up there. And tell your church to pray with you for yes, your brother. Yes, they are. A family came to our church when we did this. And I talked about the wall. We're praying for people. Yes. And they leaned over to the people who brought them. Their neighbor said, are our names on that wall? <laughs> <laughs> of course. And he gets scared. He's, uh, yes, I'll show you after church. They walked over to the wall after church. Yes. He said, right there is your name, your wife, your kids. They all started weeping, and they met Jesus standing there by their names. Some their name the, is written some, there. Some of the guys I used to go out and drink with, I'm originally from Juarez. And some of the guys I used to go out and drink with, 
Now I'm, I'm having a Bible study with them of what is. You're a pastor, you used to go out and drink with the guys. Yes. <laughs> before! Come on, before! <laughs> I've been a Christian for 29 years. Before that, I used to go out and drink with them. Woo! Now we drink, <laughs> we drink the word you, of God. I'm glad you straightened that out. <laughs> I've got to know pastors so much better. We have a common goal, a common purpose of reaching our city. And I just, when we link arms with life-giving churches for the purpose of impacting Cedar Rapids, to me, that's one of the most exciting things that I personally can be involved in. And when I came here, joined with other churches, uh, other leaders, it was as if parts of my body that had been asleep to blood was suddenly flowing to those parts. We're not offering a path, we're offering Christ and to know Christ is everything. And in knowing that, the peace and joy of God will pass understanding and influence our society in ways we can't even imagine. And it's the most exciting thing in ministry. Seeing people come to know Jesus Christ is what keeps us going. Uh, you know, all pastors can identify with all the stuff we have to deal with. But when we see one person come to know Jesus Christ, it just, you know, it, it vitalizes it. it. It encourages us, and, and it's just really exciting. And then the end of the service, uh, we ask people to come forward and to place names on this cross. And then at the end of the year, these are self-addressed. At the end of the year, I mail it back to them and ask for them to give me, send me back reports of what's happened during the year. This pray, care, sure strategy is like a three-leg stool. All three have to be working together. And there are places where people are praying their heart off. There are other places I've been where people are doing all kinds of things to show care and love. There are places where their focus is on evangelism and preaching the gospel. And But when the three come together in balance and in sequence, amazing things happen.